Let us try to build a new sticker now. You might have seen new stickers in many different websites, especially in popular news sites. This is a new site and this is the new sticker, this one. You could see that the topmost item gets hidden and a new information comes as the top item during specific intervals. If you look at the new sticker, you will be able to understand that the topmost item is getting changed every time that is hiding the top one the next one in the position becomes the first and when we move the mouse over the new sticker it stops that is now this is the topmost item it is not getting changed but when we move our mouse outside the new sticker it again changes so we are going to implement a new sticker like this from scratch now I have created a basic web page and added reference to the required jQuery file. So first we need to have some content, isn't it? So I am going to add some dummy content for the time being. Let me add an unordered list and let the ID be say news. And let me add a number of list items. So li, we can add whatever text we want, let it be the first piece of news let me create some dummy content like this okay now i am ready with some content let us check how it appears on a web page now refresh see it is a normal unordered list with one two three four five list items now let us first try to implement the functionality and later we can add some style to make it more professional so let us write our jquery code what we have to do actually the first item should be hidden and if you see this code you could find that the effect is a slide up effect isn't it it is getting hidden as sliding towards the top so we can just add the slide up effect to this first item but at the same time what we have to do this hidden item should be added at the bottom because if you see this you could find that the same item will be displayed after a number of items that is this is not getting over the same information is getting displayed repeatedly so the item that is getting hidden should be added at the bottom so that it will be displayed again once all the items are over so let us try to create a function function let us name it as start ticker and what we have to do we have to first access the very first list item so for that dollar how we can access it let me first access the unordered list using its id then the first item can be accessed using li first if you remember this is a position based selector then i have to write slide up okay this will slide up the first item but at the same time we have to append it at the end of this unordered list so we are going to add a function and pass it to the slide up event and let me add our code here what we have to do we have to append this first item that is the current item so dollar this we need to append it to there is a method named append2 this is similar to append method the implementation is same the difference is that when we use the append2 method first we specify the item to be added and then we specify the item to which we need to append it so we need to append this to this unordered list so dollar hash news this will be appended and then we should display the item isn't it so it is slide down okay i haven't closed this double quotes that is why it is showing as an error now if you see this new site if you look at this part you could find that it is sliding down that is it is getting displayed and here it is sliding up and here it is sliding down so we are sliding down the 
added item using slide down method. Now, will this implement the actual new sticker? No, we have to call this function repeatedly, isn't it? Then only it will work fine. So, we can use the JavaScript method set interval and we need to specify the name of the function as the first parameter, start ticker. Then we have to specify the delay, that is the interval. So, let me set an interval of 1000 milliseconds, that is 1 second. Now, let us check whether our code is working. Refresh. See, it is getting added at the bottom while getting hidden. Let me increase the time period to 3 milliseconds and check the difference. Refresh. See, every 3 seconds, it is getting hidden at the same time adding to the bottom. That is, here it is getting displayed and here it is getting hidden. So, this is the basic functionality of a new sticker. And in this site, if you move your mouse over the new sticker, it is getting stopped, isn't it? Now, the item is not moving up. When we move the mouse outside the item, then it is working as before. So, to implement that, we can stop our new sticker functionality on the hover event. So, here is a hover event. You can either specify two functions, that is, this is handler in, that is, when you move the mouse over the new sticker and this is handler out. So, we need both these functions because when we move in, it should stop and when we again move out, it should start as this. Now, it is working. When I move in, it stops. When I move out, it again starts. So, to implement that, what we can do is, we can write another function named function start stop ticker and what we can do in stop ticker we can stop calling this set interval method so there is a javascript method corresponding to this that is named clear interval and clear interval method needs an id that is what we can do is we can create a variable named interval and while calling this we can set the value to interval. This is the implementation of set interval and clear interval methods and inside stop ticker we can call the clear interval method passing this interval value. That is it is a unique ID for the clear interval to understand which method should stop. So, here we have called the clear interval method and pass the interval. This is the unique ID. Now, we have to call the stop ticker method on the hover of the unordered list. So, let me add the dollar document dot ready part dollar document dot ready function. Okay. Now, as soon as the page is loaded, the ticker should work. Right. So, what we can do? We can call this as soon as the page is loaded. So, I am moving it inside the document dot ready and we have to write the hover that is dollar hash news dot hover and we can write as we have seen here, we can write two different functions, one for handler in and the other one for handler out. That is, this is when the mouse is moved inside the element and this is when the mouse is moved outside. So, while writing, let me first write two functions, function, this is the first function, then comma, this is the second function and in the first function, what should be called? The stop ticker should be called. So, let me call the stop ticker because when we move the mouse over the unordered list, then the ticker functionality should be over and inside this which function should be called? It should be the same. That is, it should start again. So, let me copy and paste it here. Okay. I think you understand this code because we have done it from scratch itself. We have 
two different methods start ticker and stop ticker the start ticker actually starts the ticker so we have called the start ticker as soon as the page is loaded using set interval and on the hover of the unordered list we can call two functions one is handler in that is when the mouse is moved inside this it should stop that is why we are calling the stop ticker method here and inside this function we are calling the start ticker again and now let us check whether it is working fine refresh we have specified a delay of three seconds that is why it is working like this now suppose i move my mouse over here yes it is stopped isn't it now the ticker is not working let me move the mouse outside the ticker and see it is started again so this is the basic implementation of a new sticker now the issue is that it is not looking like a ticker is it it is not looking as a professional new sticker so we can do that using css we are going to do that next so let us try to add some style before that let me wrap this unordered list inside a div so that we can add some properties like background color border etc so let me add a class name let the class name be say ticker okay this is just to style the ticker okay now let me style it first let me style the ticker itself that is the div let me set some background color let me choose it from the color picker. I'm choosing a lighter shade. Okay. This should be fine. Okay. Let me also set the width. Let the width be say 200 px. Let the height be say 350 px. Okay. Let me also add a border let it be say 3px solid let me again choose a color from the color picker a darker shade copy okay now let us check how it appears refresh okay why it is shown outside okay i have added a ending div but this is not removed that is why it is shown outside let me refresh see it is shown inside itself but the issue is that the data is overflown so what we can do we can set the overflow property to hidden so that it will not overflow and let me also add some rounded corners using the border radius property let the radius be 15 px let me also try to center the div so margin 0 px auto okay now let us check our ticker see it is appearing like this let me increase the width and reduce the height let the width be say 250 and let the height be 350 itself so let us check refresh see it is appearing like this what we can do is we can align the text to be justified so where we have to do that let me add it in the li text align let it be justify okay and let me also remove the bullet points using list style type to none this will remove the bullet points so let us check now refresh see the bullet points are removed and the text is now justified okay let me remove the space by setting the margin and padding of the unordered list so unordered list let the margin be say 1 px and padding also be 1 px okay let us check it refresh okay now it appears like this let me increase the width a bit more because it is not seen clearly 350 and let me reduce the height 
say 200 okay now how will it look like refresh see it is looking more good and let me also add a border at the bottom of every item so i can do it like border bottom let it be 2px solid let me select a color a darker color from here copy okay and one more thing i can do is i can set a height for this thing so there will be more space the total height is let me check it the total height is 200 so let me set a height of say 70 px so there will be a gap between each item now it is it is more congested so refresh see now it is looking like this see it is working perfectly fine let me reduce the time delay to one second so let us see it very quickly refresh see it is getting changed and when i move my mouse over the item it stopped again when i move my mouse outside again it works so here is a new sticker we have implemented this from scratch you can even add some images or some valuable text content here we have done it using dummy text you can add useful text and have it on your website to display some useful information a new sticker is really useful when you have to display more than one piece of information continuously so you can implement a new sticker on your website like this